Hello everyone, uh, just wanted to do a last video of my yard for this year, the Halloween yard. Wanted to get a wide uh, panoramic shot of it. Uh, this year was really nice. We had a big group that was around. I did some night footage and now I'm going to go ahead and do some day footage so that you guys can see things uh, in a different light. Um, we'll start over on the left side of the uh, yard where we have the graveyard with the fencing. So we'll walk over here and show you a couple of these things. All these graves and gravestones, some of them were made by uh, myself and others were just ones we've had for, for a while. Um, in the back there you see a spider web and the uh, spider we have up <clears throat> and gravestones. And this guy right here, Lane Mower. We wanted to make him move this year, but ran out of time, so uh, we decided to just put him there for now. Uh, one of the ground breakers on the ground. Um, this is the walkway up, one of the ways that got up to the, uh, to the door. Um, so trick-or-treaters would come this way or through the other way that I'll show you in just a second. Uh, this is the cauldron. Um, with its post right there. <clears throat> I just noticed that this particular tombstone had been knocked over. So let me grab that real quick. There we go. Got some bones and the skeleton in the front. That's on the right hand side. Um, made this this year, a uh, little half coffin coming out. Uh, put the skeleton in there and uh, the reason we did this is that so that we could take on the back side with a shelf and put the projection unit back there and that projection unit then uh, would shine uh, that's how we did the singing pumpkins uh, made a crypt and on the crypt I put the crypt busted or the skeleton busting up the side Got uh, most of these ideas on YouTube, some great ideas up there uh, and building those things. On the left side we have the graves as you walk up. We have different kinds of things that we have, the bones and the skeletons. Here's the crank ghost. Uh, he looks really good at night. I had him in the garage last year, but I had to move him out because of the stuff I did in the garage this year. And he did really well, although obviously you can tell that pipe is right there, but uh, at night it looks very well. I had to throw that together pretty, pretty quickly, and all that is is PVC pipe. <clears throat> As we make our way uh, to the left here, um, I'm going to back up so you can see here's the pumpkin patch. <clears throat> Most of these pumpkins I uh, actually built this year out of paper mache, uh, the one there on the left, the one in the middle, and this gray one on the bottom there along with that one right there those three and then the one in the very back uh, scarecrow we've had him for a while I got some hay bales or some straw bales and a bunch of the um, corn stalks and put them in there this turned out really well at night especially with the strobes that we had on it looked uh, really good uh, and then on the entryway we have a witch at the top, have a cauldron going there and some black lights, um, along with the statues there on the left hand side. <clears throat> on the right hand side did a black wall, um, didn't do the uh, foam with it, it was just too much to do so I just put the black sheet up uh, and painted that. So here are the tombstones. <clears throat> And then our wall, I picked that up for half off at Home Depot and it worked out pretty good. Put some paint on it. Um, here are the gargoyles, I got those last year. And then we had these two paintings and this guy right here that's activated. That worked out really well <clears throat> with the trick-or-treaters. And again, there is the witch staring down at you. Um, so we're going to turn around and go back out to the front. There's the um, entry array that went down. Uh, trick treaters also could come this way where we had some uh, creepy cloth guys or some statue guys. Um, this particular coffin with uh, the corpse skeleton that we did. <clears throat> and then just a pumpkin and we did the boarded up 
window uh, right there. And another um, uh, statue guy um, as we go in through here. These are great because the kids don't know if they're real or not. And so as you go looking at them, um, they kind of tiptoe around them, which is really nice. <clears throat> the big thing for this year was I wanted to create a photo op for people to get around. And so this is my uh, fireplace in the wall with all the pictures. Um, inside there we have uh, the coals and the cauldron that we have the flickering lights under and all these paintings. What I wanted to do with the two paintings in the center, and I'll just walk up to them, and I have this done, uh, is to cut those out and then pull this out and allow people to go ahead and, and get behind it for pictures. But I ran out of time this year, um, and so we'll probably do that next year. Here are the pictures on the walls. They all change, so you have the different kinds here as you go through them. two, the last two, and then this guy. Also uh, what I wanted to show you guys here is each of these posts right here actually is a magnet. So if I pull this off here, I can pull this out. I saw this on YouTube. This is a, a magnet and it actually was what was putting or holding those in so <clears throat> that was another great idea i got off youtube um, and it ended up being really good i put some skeletons on them uh, some skulls <clears throat> did some paneling across the top here across this and this was all painted out and uh, bored out uh, and then painted up the same thing with this uh, particular um, fireplace same thing was done and the fireplace isn't attached uh, so I can pull that out and pull that off and then move those things out and we have just various little guys little stencils little creatures and things on top that worked out really good so that's the yard this year I hope I know everybody that came really enjoyed it um, I hope you guys enjoy it uh, I'll be posting this up for everybody to take a look at um, uh, on the right side of the yard, we just did a little tiny graveyard uh, right there. Uh, again, hope that you guys really enjoy this. Uh, we had a ball this year doing this. So uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you like it.